to know my lover. Here she's too elusive to want sex, too goofy to be taken seriously. Positively mood five. Aggressive silly. Before mood number one, there comes a seemingly unmotivated glare. If my ability to read people were off, I'd think her angry. But it's much better than that. Her three favorite ways to initiate angry fucking are as follows. What? What? You. Follow me. She quickly remembers all that's wrong. Mom dead. Dad an asshole. Job dissatisfying. You won't ever leave me, will you? And I swear, I've never done it on purpose. Never banged on the window with my hand. Never opened it a crack to allow in a painful wisp of cold. Never encouraged the disruptive outside to wake my lover, causing her to beg for the reassurance that's oh so reassuring. After we've been together for six months, we take a weekend upstate. We have a decent time. Soon, she's talking about San Francisco, the summer she spent there before yeah. she dropped out of college. Her description's cliché. Sunsets, Food Chardonnay, Mountain Drive. Wine tastes different. Plus, we'd only be a two-hour drive from the mountains. We'd be so close to so much. Yeah. That sounds nice. Oh, we've got to get out of here. <clears throat> I should have drove. I don't know. I mean, the Bay Area is too expensive, but there is Santa Cruz. Ugh, we've got to get out. I like the sound of we, so I lie. I hate it here. It's like we're trapped animals. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Northern California of that college summer. The Hudson, New York of my growing up. Paris, where I once studied for a month. Of all of the places to be. Quick note in my defense. She'd left that morning in a singularly sunny mood four, the kind of mood that disappears dust and garbage that sweeps her up in its delirious rhythms. 
If I had sensed Mood 10's imminent arrival, I would have been prepared. Instead, stupid and lazy, I slept and watched TV, wallowing in filth. Get me the fuck out. Notice the subtle implications in her use of the word me in absence of the word we. But first, a summary of some previous busts. I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. You looking for something? Shithead. What is this? Oh, Anne, so... number seven. Opportunity when roommate at Western? Over too quickly? Ew! You'd think I'd have learned a code more complexly after that. I didn't that. know I was one. To obscure what I didn't want discovered. I was just trying to get to the file next to it, and I ended up with it by mistake. That's an honest mistake. And then to be assaulted by that weird psycho shit! I, I shouldn't have had it on our computer. I mean, really, Brian? To be codified, quantified, analyzed like I wasn't even human! The thing about Mood 27 is that you only get to experience it once. There are very few of the ebbs and flows, the joys and sorrows that are typical of her moods. If she were more like me, she could choose between the numerology of my moods to find the perfect one. 12, 14, maybe 17. Apologetic yet firm, loving yet contrite. A changed man's mood, an anti-codifier a non-quantifier, a never-analyzer. Thank you. 